god, I hate it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good in your life. So today's video is going to be um, the review on the Nykaa Glow Getter Highlighters, which is, of course, a new launch by Nykaa. If you are keeping up with the launches of Nykaa, this is what the highlighter looks like. They've launched these highlighters. Actually, they are highlighting duo. Highlighting and illuminating duo is what Nykaa calls this. So you get two highlighters, basically, and they have released these in two different shades. The one that I have is called Glitterati number no. 02, but you also get it in a 24K glam shade, which which is basically the lighter, a little bit lighter than this one. What we're going to be doing is, um, it is about 2.10 right now in the afternoon and I'll be putting on this highlighter to see how long it lasts, how it uh, stays on my skin and all of that great stuff. So we'll get started with the packaging without delaying any further. So this is what the packaging of the Nykaa Glow Getter highlighters look like. This is the standard Nykaa Coral box and uh, they write the illuminating and highlighting and illuminating duo formulated in Italy and this is 9 grams so 4.5 grams e each of the highlighter. It's made for a girl who craves flawless gleam. Nykaa Glow Glitter Glow Getter Highlighter Duo features two luminescent shades that absorb and reflect light to give you an amplified radiance. The one-of-a-kind formula gives you an unparalleled glow and glides on your skin seamlessly in an elegant finish. Never cakey, never gritty, this lush highlighter duo is all the spotlight you ever need. It is infused with light diffusing pigments. It is long lasting strobed effect and it's ultra luxe and luminous formula. So, and of course it is paraben and SLS free. It is not tested on animals. It is cruelty free. So this highlighter does retail for 699 rupees. For 699, you are getting basically two shades of highlighter, which I think is a very good deal. Um, for someone who's beginning with highlight, um, for 699, you get two different shades of highlighters and um, that's a really good deal. It's a very affordable highlighter. So the price point is absolutely amazing so this is what glitterati looks like this one here is rose gold and this one here is blonde gold you can see this is little like a traditional gold highlighter and this one is a rose gold now Nika does say that this is specifically for a medium to uh, dusky to deeper skin tone girls while 24k glam would suit fair to medium skin tone girls clearly uh, I should have picked up 24k glam going by that but um, in the 24k glam there was there is a lighter highlighter uh, instead of this one instead of the blonde gold they have a light very light gold which almost comes across as white highlighter which it looks so unflattering i would any day prefer this golden shade on my skin rather than having a white streaky highlighter that just does not look good because i'm very warm toned girl so i'll just swatch um this one for you first on the fingers i've already swatched it actually so this is the rose gold shade that's how it looks you can see it is so it's a glistening literally glistening and then this is the blonde gold which is here so here on the middle finger this is rose gold and this is blonde gold of the two I feel um, rose gold has a lot more sheen um, you can see from the finger swatch as well this one has a lot more sheen this is a little more subtle so um, maybe I'll take a little bit more that's the so this is blonde gold and this is rose gold let's swatchy swatch here okay so this is uh, blonde gold and this is the rose gold shade you can see it is I think it's a it's a it's a pretty good one so you see this is more glistening than this one so yeah my favorite would be rose gold anyway all right so let's apply it on the cheekbones now on the right side I'm going to apply this one which is the blonde gold and on the left side I'll apply the rose gold so let's start so I'll first take the I'll take this one brush and then I'll take the blonde gold that's the pigment that comes on the brush and it's pretty much so okay let's tap off the excess huh well the rose gold didn't 
didn't transfer at all. Let me just zoom you guys in so you can see it. I think it's a it's a very hmm, not impressed. It's a very subtle highlight. Like literally this doesn't even look like a highlighter. I don't know what they're talking about. But anyway, from this swatch, I already told you that this blonde gold is not the one. Let's build it up. So when you build up, you can see it a bit. All right, then I'm gonna take this brush and let's um, apply the rose gold one. So definitely these highlighters are the ones that you can build. Um, okay, uh, what I have to say is that um, they are not over the top highlighters. So this is the third time I've built up the highlighter. So this is how rose gold looks. Now this is rose gold and this is blonde gold. So both are, both the highlighters, they are there, but they're not blinging. Um, let's see one more uh, with this brush. Let me pick up the blonde gold again and see if it does uh, pick up better. Um, no, I think blonde gold as a highlighter itself is not not the typical highlighter that so this is how blonde gold looks so yep that is what the highlighter looks like so it is about 2 30 right now let's see um, how this highlighter sticks and performs does it fade does it become better and I'll keep you guys updated all right so it is 4 25 right now and um, you can still see the highlighter and um, I feel the highlighter is um, is looking very natural. You can see the sheen out here. You can see the glow out here. See when I smile. You can see the highlighter is giving a nice natural effect to um, the face, which is what I'm loving about this. Now, this texture and the way this highlighter is working as of now on my skin, it does remind me a lot like the pack baked highlighters, which also work in the same sort of more like a diffused glowy effect and you know they sort of they melt into the skin as the time passes um, the only thing is that for this highlighter to actually show that glistening effect and stuff like that you have to be out in the sun so if you are um, out in the sun and about yes definitely this will reflect light in a very very nice manner but if you are somewhere in the office or something it is very subtle um, not in the face of anyone it is not glittery it is not chunky at all it is not sparkly and um, it's it's looking very nice it's not looking unflattering it's looking very flattering so I'm very happy with it as of now and both the colors the rose gold as well as the blonde gold both are putting up excellent so yep I will see you again after two hours and we'll see how this highlighter um, stays put as of now it's amazing so in the natural daylight this is how the highlighters look this is rose gold this is blonde gold there's no shimmer there's no glitter there's no sparkle it's not looking unflattering it's looking like a really nice healthy glow um, on the tops of the cheekbones all right so I'm back with my final thoughts on the Nika highlighter it is 9 30 so exactly seven hours uh, since I have worn the highlighter and this is what the highlighter looks like it is still hanging on um, my face and I'm very impressed by it actually it's not doing bad wow look at that like I know you can't tell it from the camera that much but the highlighter is still on you guys it is still on I mean seriously so Starting with the packaging, honestly, Nika packaging has just always been all right. It's nothing impressive, nothing bad. It's nothing to discuss actually in this packaging, honestly speaking. The pigmentation um, of this highlighter, maybe it could have been a little better. Uh, now, this what you're seeing, the highlighter that's still sticking to my face is because I have, like you saw earlier on, that I built it up three times. So if you do one single um application i don't think it's going to show up at all uh, which is very saddening um pigmentation maybe they can work on um so that you know you don't have to work 
on building up the highlighter however the same thing comes with a plus point also if you are someone who's beginning with highlighting highlighting can be very tricky and you may tend to go overboard and it may start to look very unflattering so if that's what your case is you're just scared of highlighter looking too much on your face or you don't want that kind of highlighter at all this one is a good option because in one single swatch you'll get that really nice sort of a subtle highlighted cheek which is perfect for office and even college this highlighter is excellent for anyone who's beginning with highlighting not only because you are getting two shades in one highlighter but also because it is very pocket friendly I mean if you have to splurge on a highlighter and just get one highlighting color it's better to spend a little less and get two highlighters for the price of one so all in all I would really give it a thumbs up it's it's a good product to try um, it doesn't really pinch your pocket that much so that'll be all for this um, Nika highlighter test slash review um, if I do plan if I do happen to change my mind and opinion on this highlighter I will definitely let you know will be all for today's video thank you so much for watching this one and if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and leave in your comments below on what you think would you be interested in buying the Nika highlighter what do you think about it in general just let me know anything and yeah if you are not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel and if you are already subscribed I hope you have clicked on that bell icon so that you know when i upload my videos on that note i will see you very soon in my next video and thank you so much for watching this one and all of you take care Mwah. bye